In Fallout New Vegas, we can find many different items that have somehow stayed around after 200 years of a post-nuclear apocalypse. Some, of course, are more interesting than others, but the fact that we see anything intact from before the war is pretty impressive. One of the things I was surprised to see the most was that a couple of musical instruments had survived out in the wastes. We can find a small number of harmonicas in our travels, and it makes sense that these still litter the area. While they are rare, they still appear enough to have a decently sized collection of mouth harps. However, only one other instrument appears in Fallout New Vegas, and it is far more rare, the acoustic guitar. The courier can only obtain three of these throughout the game, and two of those require stealing from a well-liked NPC. We can take the first one from the stump the Lonesome Drifter sits on. After doing so, if we complete his part of the talent pool quest by recruiting the Drifter as an act, a second acoustic guitar will spawn in his inventory. We can pickpocket this from him with good enough sneak, bringing our count to two. Finally, in the Sierra Madre Villa, we can find the only other acoustic guitar in the game, across the street from the police station, next to a music stand. These are the only three guitars we can collect from the entirety of Fallout New Vegas, and I love collecting them. It's worth noting that these musical instruments serve no actual purpose as we can't play them, and that there is some writing on the bottom of the guitar. I can't really make it out myself, so I would love to know what your theories are on what the text says in the comments below. More classics coming right up for you, so stay tuned.